This is the Rope Masters Video Cast, your source for the best in rope skipping instruction. Hosted by world champion Peter Nessler. For this episode, we are in Michigan, and I hate to apologize again, but you know, life on the road makes it a little tough to keep up with every episode that I should be doing. Uh, but we are filming uh, this week and next week's or next uh, episode here, so uh, you should be able to be caught up for an, about a month anyway. Um, but anyway, this episode we're going to be covering a couple different skills here. The uh, JV is going to be a step through. Um, it's a good resting motion that you can do. The varsity, if you've been following uh, what I've been doing for quite a while, you may have seen this trick before. This was actually the very first trick of the month, uh, which was the precursor to the video cast. So you might have seen this one before, but I haven't done it as part of the video cast, and I thought we should get it on there uh, because a lot of people weren't uh, following what I was doing back when uh, we were doing the trick of the month. So you'll be able to check that out. Um, it's a backward um, awesome mamba. Uh, it's kind of a cool combination of a awesome ante with a rope release uh, with turning and everything. So you'll be able to learn that. It's kind of a cool trick to do. The JV skill. So the JV will be covering a step through. Now the step through, when you finish it up, it's going to look like this. It's going to come over, go through the rope, around, and you should be able to end up doing it to both sides. Now when we're doing it slow, it's going to look very different than what it looks like when you go fast. So we'll first of all just break it down. We'll do it to one side, then we'll do it to the other side. Now you'll start with the rope in front of you. You want to pick whichever side you want to go with. We're going to go ahead, do uh, right hand up, left arm down. What you'll do from this position is you want to pick up your right foot, step over the rope. Now here, you'll have the rope between your legs. The hand that's up, your right hand, you'll want to bring it around behind your head, um, not in front of you. If you go in front, it's going to wrap around your legs. So you want to go around behind you. Once it gets to this position, it's over here. Pick up your left foot, step out, and the rope's back in front of you again. So one more time, right arm up, left arm down. Pick up your right foot, step through, rope comes around, step out, and the rope will be end up back in front of you. Now you should be able to do that um, nice and slow. Once you've got it going just one time, you can kind of go in a row, just kind of get the feel for it uh, with the rope going sideways. Once you can do it that way, try it to the other side, left arm up, right arm down, step over, arm behind your head, step out, and you're here. So you want to work on that one so you kind of get comfortable with that, with the arm moving. Once you can do it kind of slow, do it a little bit faster. Once you're there, you'll want to add in the rope motion where it's actually going to be doing it when you're doing it, say, in a routine or as part of your workout. Now with this, you're going to start with the rope behind you, swing it over. Right here, you're going to go right into your hand motion. So you go from here, it comes over. Step through, around, and then you should be able to side swing out of that. Now you'll notice that the rope is no longer going sideways, but it's kind of going more in an up and down position. So you're going to have to do a little bit of uh, a motion with your up hand to keep the rope so it doesn't end up like clipping your leg or anything. So when it comes over, you step through, around, and out. Now a way that you can do this to make it look a little bit uh, nicer is when you're doing that step through, instead of just staying in one spot, actually kind of step to the side that you've got your arm um, going around you. So if this hand is up, I'm going to step to my right. If uh, this hand's up, I'm going to step to my left. So if I come over, I go here, through, and out, same thing, through and out. And you should be able to do that one to both sides. It's a good resting motion that you can do, and it adds a good pace change inside of a routine uh, if you're looking to maybe do it as part of a demonstrational thing or maybe a competition thing. Uh, it, it looks kind of cool because you can do it um, you know, either slow or fast, and it adds a good pace change to what you're doing. So one more time, if you're jumping, you're here, step around and out out and keep going and that is the step through the varsity skill For the varsity skill, we're going to be covering a backward awesome mamba. Now this is going to combine an awesome ante with a backward uh, mamba, um, which if you need to know what the mamba is, it's the rope release where you're going here, swing around and catch it. You'll be doing that backwards, so if you say we're jumping backwards, come around and you would obviously catch it. Now the way we're going to do this, you're going to start off forward um, doing an awesome ante. You're going to do a half of a turn, and what it's going to look like when we're finished, um, you'll be here turn and catch. That's what the finished product's going to look like. Now what we're going to do, you're going to start off with doing an awesome ante forward. So if you're jumping this way, what you'll do to get from forward to backward with an awesome ante is whenever you're in your toad position, 
What you do is whatever leg is on the ground, you're going to turn that direction. So if my right leg is on the ground, I'm going to turn to my right. And as I turn, my left foot's going to come down, my right leg's going to come up, and I'm going to go into a backward Kruger. So from here, I'd be jump, jump, and I'd be doing an awesome ante backwards. So that's how you switch directions with the awesome ante. So if you're here, toad, whichever leg's on the ground, turn to that side. As you're turning, this hand still stays under, brings it right up into a Kruger backwards. So if I'm facing this way, same thing. I'm here and out. Now, what you'll do from here is once you get backwards, you're going to do the Kruger backwards, switch to an awesome ante. Right here is where you're going to do the rope release. So if I'm jumping with my right hand under the leg, I'm going to let go with my left hand. So I'll jump here, jump, spin around, and I'm going to catch it backwards right here. So once again, you'll jump it backwards here, spin, and catch. Now because we're trying to do this with an awesome ante, when I catch it, I want to catch it and go right back into a Kruger. So the right hand that's holding the rope, I do the spin, it's going to come under the Kruger here, and then you go back into an awesome ante. So what that'll look like, I'll jump here, jump, spin, and there. So we're ready to go. Now one thing to note here is normally when you're doing an awesome ante, you're always switching right leg down, left leg down, switching back and forth. When I do that rope release, I've got to do one pause jump because I have to allow time for the rope to turn. So when I jump it here, I do kind of a jump with both feet on the ground, just kind of a pause jump, wait to catch it, and as I catch it, then I go up into there. So you have those, kind of that one extra beat in there. It kind of makes the timing a little bit different, uh, but you should be able to catch on to that. So one more time, it goes under, jump, spin, and then you jump it there. And when you combine it, you start with the awesome ante forward, turn, jump, rope release, catch there, and you can keep going from there. And if you want, you can return to forward doing an awesome ante. Maybe you want to do it into a combination of some sort. Um, but what this part looks like, you go forward, jump, and out. And that is how you do the backward awesome mamba. For more information, check out www.jumprm.com.